42 years after we had first ventured into a galaxy far, far away, fans of the Star Wars franchise have been highly anticipating the end of the Skywalker saga with Star Wars Episode 9 Rise of Skywalker. The teaser trailer has just dropped, so we're coming at you today with a breakdown of what it contained and what it might mean for the upcoming film. Now, for starters, let's just have a quick recap of where we left off in the Star Wars universe. Also, spoilers for The Last Jedi, but you probably should have watched it by now. In the previous film, The Last Jedi, we saw General Leia's resistance movement being forced on the run thanks to the First Order. Her son, Kylo Ren, played by Adam Driver, killed Luke Skywalker, and also killed the leader of the First Order, Supreme Leader Snoke. Despite his character's death, Mark Hamill is set to reprise his role in Rise of Skywalker, but clearly this film is going to be all about Rey continuing on with the Jedi legacy and bringing down the First Order once and for all. Or Maybe for that last point. But now, on to the trailer. The majority of the teaser trailer features protagonist Rey, while some voiceover plays. She's standing, waiting, with her hand falling down to her lightsaber. A moment that then climaxes when a ship speeds by her and she does an awesome backflip onto it. From there on out, we got a series of epic clips that gave us a glimpse of a few key things. Here's what we noticed Kylo Ren, the son of Han Solo and General Leia, who had gone to the dark side and is now the supreme leader of the First Order, has repaired his helmet, which was broken in the previous film. I mean, you know, helmets just scream dark and broody, so he had to. Billy D. Williams is finally back in the franchise, reprising his role of Lando Calrissian in the film. He's seen in a shot next to Chewbacca flying the Millennium Falcon. He's not the only familiar face either. The late Carrie Fisher also appears thanks to the wonders of CGI, seen in a shot in which she gives Rey a hug. There's also a handful of shots that feature fan favorites Poe and Finn, played by Oscar Isaac and John Boyega. In the previous Star Wars installment, The Last Jedi, director Ryan Johnson had seemingly made quite the effort to keep Poe and Finn apart. Now, this is a pretty big deal for those of you out there who have been shipping them. A ship that blew up the internet a little while back and was pretty much shot down. Seeing them back on screen together hopefully means we'll at least get to see the charming chemistry between the duo once more, regardless of whether or not the two are paired as a couple. Come at me, haters. But perhaps the most important part of the teaser occurs in its final seconds prior to the title card. We hear in the voiceover that no one is ever really gone, which is followed by a sinister sounding laugh. This laugh, no doubt, is from Emperor Palpatine. This trailer has also spawned some major rumors online that J.J. Abrams, who is directing the final chapter in the series, plans on retconning Rey's parentage that was revealed in The Last Jedi, that she's actually no one, not related to the Skywalkers at all. Based on the voiceover from Luke that we hear throughout the teaser, this rumor could tie into some of that dialogue, and would be a monumental part of the plot in the film if it's true. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker will be released in theaters on December 20th of this year. So tell us friends, will you go see it? Or are you done with the Star Wars franchise after Solo? Give us a shout in those comments below and let us know what else you spotted in this teaser trailer. If you dug this video, spread that love, hit that like button, and be sure to subscribe to Top 10 Nerd for all of your Star Wars and other pop culture updates. Thanks for watching, friends.